I have not extracted the item I have my hand on. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That is, you've got to see this noodles, because you just dug one near it, but it ain't nothing like it. Holy crap! Well, I hope you're all ready for this. We just drove to a location. We had an interesting discussion along the way. Buenos. Yeah. How's it go? Uh, rubber baby boogie bumpers. Rubber bugger baby rub rubber. Say it again. <laughs> now, now you got me tripping over it. Uh, rubber baby buggy bumpers. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Yep. What, what about the double? Double rubber. Double rubber baby buggy bu buggies buggy. <laughs> Double baby buggy. Double rubber baby boogie buggy. Baby buggy bumper bumpers. Baby buggy bumpers. <laughs> I can't see anything. Wait, all right, one word at a time. Double, Double rubber, rubber baby baby, baby buggy, buggy bumper buggy buggy bumper. All right. And we've landed safely. And today, this is going to be a massive lineup of stealth diggers. Wow. This is a pretty big deal. Howdy. Mixture. Hi, hey. Charlie. Got my new detector. Nice. What's up? Hi. Hi. You are good. You <laughs> dropped, dropped it. You killed it. It's dead. Don't eat them. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Charlie. Hey, Bill. Here we are. Hi! Hi! First time with you guys, so excited. Yoo-hoo! There is him. Whoa. Hey, Keith. Morning. Hi. So as you can see... Nope. <laughs> oh, one more. I was going to show you Keith, but literally, there he is. I haven't even gone through to say hi to everybody, and he's off to drop a clump. <laughs> so... He's feeling the clump. He's in there somewhere. We'll see him at some point. So here we go. It's going to be a... Day of running around and finding things and hi hi I made it yeah now we're just waiting for JB JB's coming too yeah yeah good he's always fun to have around yeah SB I heard you got a culture I got a culture Charlie and it is shotgun Wayne nice four one fifth of the challenge here you go you're off to a good start well. Good luck. Thank you, Charlie. This what? is better than shotgun Wayne. Yeah, that didn't take long, Bill. It's a left front hoof from a riding end. Hand forged, quality construction. Good shoe. How do you know it's a left shoe? When you hold a horseshoe straight up and down, one of the two sides will be longer than the other. The long side goes on the outside of the animal. Oh, wow. The short one goes to the inside. The shape of it says this is a front foot, not a rear. Oh, thanks for the lesson. Thank Roy. Oh, okay, thanks he's, Roy. He's the one that taught us. Excellent. He did drag his outside of his, of his hoof because he wore that cleat off. This cleat is in good shape. But it's a hand forward shoe of good quality. Absolutely. Oh, no way! Way! Bill! He's right out front. Right out the front door. Not like Buck Owens looking out my back door. No, wouldn't be that one. All right. Well, you're off to a start. I haven't even seen anything. This else. isn't on this challenge. Yet. I, I need to find. No, a you get no points for that whatsoever. Not a lot of cuts on the blade of the key, but still a very nice. Hell yeah! Skeleton key. Bill, I haven't found a key in three years, and even at that, it was probably only my second one. Oh, you know what? It's not going to fit in my David Perdue box. So far, everything you've found, none of it is going to fit. None of it fit. would fit. Right. 
So that means we either need a bigger box or smaller finds. David, take note. Take <laughs> bigger <laughs> box. You know, yeah, yeah nice. You'll be carrying a briefcase around with you soon. Good job, Bill. Thank you. This is a beautiful key. Hell yeah, it is. All right, Keebs. We didn't catch you earlier because you, you pre-orbited. I had to drop a penny. I figured the case. So why don't you narrate as to what's going on here right now with Spectrum Well, Bill. I was like this. Right. And I had penny in hand. No, 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 no. What's oh. going on with Bill? Oh. <laughs> oh. I, uh, I think we have a ways to go. There's a, this some is type a of considerable a, slab, but there's a, a sound rock. under it. It's under. like the cornerstone or the uh, or doorstep. So I was going to say door sill, maybe. All right, well, I'll come back for you Tuesday okay. to check in. Well, about 30 minutes later, the thought is that that stone is going nowhere. Yeah, unless you dig under it. Unless what you're picking oh, up. you're right. I can dig down alongside or of it. Or clean that dirt aside and make sure there's not an iron post in there where there was a boot scraper. Oh, good, uh, good thought, Charlie. Look at that. Yeah, look. There it is. So there was a boot scraper here, yeah, which right makes there. sense. Yeah. I, you know, I, I could be a real drag and I could have not told you and just let you work at it for a while, but... Thanks, hey, Charlie. <laughs> just walked into the tree line, swung over a very sharp high signal. Nate's like, and I'm like... Hey, yeah, nice buckle. Some plating on it, some animal. So I got a culture. You uh, ventured out into what, the field? Yeah. Oh, it's like a clasp. So what's your approach and plan? Shade? Trying to stay out of the sun. Yeah, you're dripping. Yep. It's bad out there, huh? Oh, it's terrible. I'll be staying in the tree line today. Anybody finds anything out in the field? They can come soon. Yeah. Well, apparently there's more stuff here. Crap, you know what that is? A button? Yeah, but it's not just a button. It's a pewter button. What? Unbelievable. Oh, wow. Oh, it's got something on it. Oh, man. How was that for awesome. dumb luck? I literally just stepped in here as you were coming up to me. Guy lost his belt and his <laughs> pants. <laughs> wow, why don't you join me over here and yeah. just... Because there seems to be... Target, so. Just don't tell anybody else. Shh, yeah, shh, yeah. Let them see. And by the time they see this, they won't be able to get here, yeah. so it doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, so I see you've got some treasure here. Well, we got a front door to a wood stove and uh, got a nice milk pitcher with a name on it. Yeah, I can't wait to see that. Yeah, it's beautiful. Is this going to fit in your dump pouch or? Oh, no, we'll get it there somehow. I'm sure you will. All right. That'll be great to take back to Michigan, huh? Yeah, a little rusty, but it's got a nice name on it. Hey, rust is great. At least it's something. Yep. What are you huffing? Oh, ah, I'm just smelling how old it is. Like, you know, I smell Bob and Bob's about oh, mid-twenties. No, it's an old Clorox bottle with a cat. I mean, it's not like old, old, but. Yeah, still. Bob used to use it as a kid, so I figured. At least you can say he didn't go home empty-handed. Right. Yeah, that is something with holes. Huh. Oh, you've worked There's for a that. a root going this way and a root going that way. Pewter. It looks pewter. Yeah, definitely. Digger Dame, one out on an orbit. Would you go into the fields? Fields and fields and fields. Did you find anything? SGW. Thank you much, man. <laughs> there you go. All right. That sounds small. Yo, buenos. How you doing? Good. Go to Google. Oh, that's an old one, man. It's missing the little pin, but that's all right. still cool. And I got a Clyde spill. I got a quarter, a dime, and a half-chewed uh, stinking Lincoln. Nice. Six inches down. <laughs> Every time I swung, the signal wouldn't go away. I'm like, I might as well just camp out here. Nice. Hmm. What do you think about this, old bell? Oh, yeah. What? Is it is. Dude, it's a Constoga bell. Yeah. <laughs> right there? <laughs> yeah. Sound like a... Half beer can. No way. Under the can. Still got the. Yeah. No. Dig a little further, you'll find the rest of it the can. It is, man. Yep. That's awesome. Wow. Oh. The terrain's a little rough in here. I don't have my. Beardo, what were we saying? It wasn't coming up on the VDI? Yeah. So this is typical. You have a squeaker, you open up the ground. 
and well, did he just show me this piece of metal with lettering? I can't tell if that says bloody or something. And the noodles goes right back over to where his bell was. And what do you find? Bell seal. Unbelievable. That's my uh, that's my first one too. Actually, really? yeah. So you've gotten two firsts right in the immediate area here in relatively short time. Yeah. So, Good for uh, you. And you got a bloody piece of metal. So this is typical of us no matter where we go. There's literally hundreds of acres here, fields and stuff, and Buenos, Cindy, Beardo, Noodles, JMO, myself, we're all hunkered down in this little section, but that's how we find things. We get the hot spot, tear it to shreds. It's just funny how we always seem to migrate together no matter where we are. Apparently Noodles got himself a little round disc. So I tried brush it, put the mole wheel to it. Giving the brush to it, let's see what happens. I see 62, so it's probably 1860. Yeah, I think you got an Indian head. Yeah, it's one of those fat ones, isn't it? Wow. I think it was like a 60 or something, like high 50s. Yeah, there you go, man. 1862. Yeah, there's the headdress. Wow, noodles. And all these three targets had been found right here, huh? Yeah, just yeah, in this little... You gotta go. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> The, the weird is. Oh, you're part of a lantern. Oops. See I don't know about that. It's got threads right in it. It is. Yeah? Yeah. 50s. Oh, this is definitely the area. Oh, nice, oh. Beardo. You better, Damn. you better mean you're going to get a haircut. <laughs> that is a sick buckle. He yeah. just dug a sick buckle. Really? Yeah. He was standing on it. <laughs> no, I just turned around. <laughs> he moved his foot. <laughs> that thing was loud and proud, wall to wall, and tree top tall. Dame just a few feet away. I have not extracted the item I have my hand on. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, that is, you've got to see this noodles because you just dug one near it, but it ain't nothing like it. Holy crap. Dame, holy mackerel. Oh, oh wow. I am bottom feeding hard today. <laughs> Look how deep that is, stick your arm in there. It was that deep Jeez. under a root. I found mine. Look what? at the was size of it. Right there. <laughs> 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 See, that's crazy because I think mine was right there. It was. That's officially the biggest Kunstoga belt I've ever seen. Wow. Wow. Oh, man. Congrats, man. That is killer. See, you never Very know, cute. man. You can be two, three feet away from something. And it was, it, it was, there was so much crud over on top of it. Yeah, it was like, I bet. <laughs> but there was just that little faint. What did they call the early pioneers who settled here? Nuts. Well, besides that, colonists. Why? Out west, we called them something else. Yeah. The old miners and the early settlers and ranchers. Yeah. Were called old timers. Okay. One of them apparently took a trip out here and dropped his old timer nice. pocket wow. knife. Wow! <laughs> nice, Bill. Good start. Not a kind of store to bell. <laughs> what you got, Keith? That's it for me. Some kind of handle with the screws. At least you got a handle on the situation. That's it. Well, as usual, I'm right out where the uh, bells are coming out of the ground. It ain't a bell, but it is part of the challenge. I got my pork chop. Nice. So Cindy goes over, and look what she pulls out of it. An oxen shoe. Is that your first? It's my second. I found one in Colorado, but my first New Hampshire. Awesome. Working on the challenge. Very good. Shotgun Wayne's already in the pocket. Two fifths away. Nice. Has anybody found a spoon? Yeah. Hmm. Now what are you up to, Dame? <laughs> uh -oh, he's watch got out. it. He's, he's, he's big. got it. Go big or go home. <laughs> King size. <laughs> nice. So you got the ox shoe, the CCR. Looking for a spoon. Spoon and a button. All right, I think you're in the lead. Well, our lady over here found lady things apparently. Uh, I think oh it's yeah, a piece you get fancy. To a little sash. Oh, that's awesome. It's beautiful. It is.
Good for you. It's got a nice edge here. Everybody loves fancy. I don't recognize what it is, but I've cut the roots out from around it. And oh it's, boy, huh? it's back in there. I'm gonna have to dig some more. All right, well, let's see it's if we can get, can't get that out of there for yeah. you. All right, we need backup over here. We need back up on this this dig for Bill. It's one of those we need to know what it is targets. Okay, so it's in that. Oh, oh, it's just hooked around that root, huh? Yeah. Well, there you go, Bill. And there should be a second hole in it. Did you bring it? Did you bring it? Thank you, Henry. Yeah. Oh, you got two now, huh? Yeah. I just this was the one after the Keebler assist. Good. Very next hole. So at this point. It was about 90 degrees today, and uh, we worked it for a few hours. No reason to be out here for six or seven and, uh, you know, get heat stroke. So we're going to head back to the shack, hang out, and just enjoy the visit. Join us, won't you? What do you call this? Uh, Long-lasting bugle excitement. <laughs> okay, I like that. All right, you ready? Yeah. I feel a competition coming on with a stopwatch, don't you? Sounds like me at the Taco That is just watching that is painful. All right, that doesn't. Wow. See all that pressure back up. This is one of those Tano's new expanding double CCRs. You find these in the West, you just don't expect to find them here. Either that or you found the two center rings of a ski ball course. Uh, you know what? That's worth 50 and 75 points. <laughs> Simultaneous. Right. That's the donor ring off the toilet. Double rubber baby buggy bumper. Double rubber so, baby. But our permits were. No. Double rubber baby bumper. Baby buggy bumper. Double rubber baby bunky. Double rubber baby bubby. No. Ain't gonna happen today. And double rubber baby buggy bumper. Rubber. What? Bring that right in here. Double rubber. Double, double rubber baby, double rubber baby yes, buggy bumper. No, no, no. Double rubber <laughs> baby buggy. buggy bumper. No, no, no. Double no, no. rubber baby. No. Double rubber baby bubby. No. <laughs> you almost got it. Barkity bark bark bark. <laughs> Buddy bunky bubble. bung hole. Boogaloo. <laughs> I am the walrus. Double? Double rubber baby baby buggy bumper? No, 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 no. <laughs> you I'm gotta the, try it once. Rubber, rubber what? Rubber what? What do you got, Cindy? Rubber baby buggy bumper. Double rubber baby Double rubber baby, Double buggy, rubber buggy, baby bumper. buggy bumper. I can't remember. All right. Double rubber. What was it? Double rubber baby buggy bumper. Double rubber baby buggy bumper. Wow, I'm impressed. Bubble bugger. I can't remember. I think I have a heat stroke right now. <laughs> a double rubber baby buggy bumper. Nice. <laughs> Let's see this. Double go. rubber baby buggy bumper. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about you. I was thinking about you. 
about you. I was thinking about you. I, 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 I saw you. Makes me feel a little blue. You don't even know the words I will say. But I was thinking of you today. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get this key I found to work in this door. The one you dug? Yes. Well, well good luck. What? So. It'll work. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the episode. And no, uh. It won't even go in the keyhole. See if there's anybody in there? Oh, hi. Go away or I'll taunt you a second time. Well, with that, stay young. Always keep them guessing. And live, live free, free or, or die. die. Adios.